even if you're a big national act, which that means not automatically that everybody's waiting for you abroad. So be realistic, be pragmatic, but also on the other hand, uh, play the ball while you can. No, don't wait your whole life just for this being ready. Of course, it's always good to work with a local partner because they know the people. So it would be the same if I would try to do something in the Ukraine because I don't know the right people there. And it will take a lot of research and the knowledge of the language to get into, uh, into the, the right uh, magazines or platforms. And if you don't have the, the money to pay everything by yourself, you have to find partners where, who are invested in you, which is obviously a label, for example, um, or like a distribution. It's the best part, of course, to find these two partners um, and then um, making a plan with the partners how you can invest into Germany and how you can make it. But if you don't have it and if you do want to do everything by yourself, it's still important to work on this structure. If you don't have a label, you need at least a distribution. Um, could be digital, but it should be also like a physical if it would be a proper release. Um, but for for the beginning, if you have like one or two singles, it can be it, couldn't, it can be only uh, digital as well. So it can work, especially if you're doing more music for younger people. So then it's also much more digital than physical, and then of course it will change. But um, in the end, you always need help from the country. If you're going to like a festival like Grüberbahn or even Small Waves or Mend or something like this, so there, I don't know how many bands playing at Mend, 50, 100? Yeah, yeah. So like 50 bands looking for new partners. And everybody should get their tools ready. So, then, and then you maybe should think, okay, how can I get a little bit more attention for my tools? Just being creative and uh, doing some, some cool stuff, like a, a small package where the people just remembers you or something like this. I don't know, having like a pink unicorn USB stick <laughs> or whatever. So it de depends what kind of music you're doing, but it's something, if you're different, you will get attention. And then of course you have to be good and everything should be fantastic and sounds good and it should be reach the right person. So there's a lot of stuff, but at least what you can do is do your homework and get prepared that you try to get attention, get your stuff ready, the music, the contact, stuff like this. Even as a manager, it's also important. If you're in the showcase, so I, I notice it because sometimes the managers are always standing with the group they already know together after the concert. And if you see people from abroad who like to talk to their manager, but they're still with their gang together, and uh, they are not standing there alone, that they're ready to talk to people from abroad. So if you managing a band and you play it on the showcase. Go close to the stage, maybe talk to the band saying, okay, our manager is standing there. If you want something from us, talk to him or her. And then stand there at least for like 20 minutes or something like this, so the people have the chance to talk to you. And then get your cards ready and uh, the tools ready, like maybe with the picture and then create something. We had also like a, like a band last year, which was really nice. So they had like a, a small, package and then they had some confetti and it, something like this so it does create some attention and also like during the festival so they had some they used some uh, neon duct tape <laughs> and then they they put the name somewhere on it and then they made some yeah, they, some notes for where to go and something like this so the people just got some attention so and this is but but you, you you're creative so you should think how you what's the best way to present the band and also on a different level. Of course, you need the basic standards like picture, music and everything, and also in the right format and everything, but add on something, something which is your band and create some attention and then talk to the people. And also like showing, okay, I'm here, you can talk to me. And also like then have an idea what you want. So do some research about the markets where you want to go. So. Um, if you're interested to go to Germany or, I don't know, even if you wanted to go to Poland or, or to the 
a Balkan state or something like this, do some research. If you're playing at Mend, okay, what kind of people are coming? Doing already research, um, what people are coming. Normally you get access to the, to the data and then go through and pick up, okay, check the web page. Okay, okay, they are label, okay, they're doing techno music, I have a rock band, so I don't have to talk to them. You know, it's totally useless because I'm, I'm kind of get bored of people just sending me the wrong questions. But if somebody just reset, okay, I check your website and you're doing this and this, can you help us? And okay, There's, did somebody did his homework and did some research. So really go to the data and look, okay, what do I need and who do I need? Okay, I need structure, so I need a label, I need a booking agent. And what kind of booking agents is cool for me, for my kind of music? Okay, they're doing this and this, oh, this is my favorite band, this is my favorite band, okay, that would be perfect. So, and then try to arrange a meeting. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Saying, okay, I'm the, you know, this band, there's a link, and something like this, please come to the concert if you want to meet. This is my mobile number, I will be available the whole day. So if you have time, and uh, sometimes also call to try to get something in exchange. So, um, of course, if you want to know somebody from the Ukraine, because it's also for, for the Western part, it's an undiscovered market. And it's, as you said, it's a, it is a big country, so it will be an emerged market so and so maybe you can offer something for them as well so um, don't be afraid they're just uh, normal people just try to find the right people and talk to them and present you in a nice way and uh, try to get some attention because a lot of bands just waiting for the you know the prince with the white horse it's the same with the bands if you have the chance to play there um, use the chance and doing your homework, especially if you're doing the management or even if you, if you don't have a manager, then talk to your bandmates or members. Okay, who should doing what? Who do, should do the research? Who should do the talking and stuff like this? Um, so this, this is always important. Mm -hmm.